Up until 1868, there was another state that existed between Spain and Portugal, a state that had been there for hundreds of years, as far back as the 10th century. The state of Corta Mixto, or Corta Misto, if you're Portuguese. Let me tell you the story. Borders aren't perfect, but my mum says I am. The stability of sovereign states has led people to believe that borders are simple, but they're not. Like, really not. I'm, I'm being serious. But we're not looking at exclaves and enclaves, we're looking at microstates. Microstate, the geographical term, not the medical term the doctor uses to describe my pe present day. Cotto Mixto is an area split between Spain and Portugal and is otherwise meaningless. 500 years ago, Cotto Mixto is its own state where you can have a gun and not pay any tax. <laughs> In the emergence of Portugal as a new state, Quarta Mixto was created in the carnage of the new borders. Entirely new lines needed to be drawn, and in their line making, Mierda. Three villages were left unclaimed as a result of land disputes. These villages remained neither Spanish or Portuguese. Santiago, Rubias and Meias were Corta Mixto's main attractions. People would queue for miles to see these amazing only attractions. They were the only sites of human civilization in Quarta Mixto, actually. The microstate had its own law and governance, but residents could decide to be Spanish, Portuguese, or neither. They could say no to military service, taxes, and offer asylum, boasting their own postage stamps, rights to bear arms, crops, markets, and even road rights. In 1868, the Treaty of Lisbon partitioned the land between the kingdoms of Spain and Portugal in a very fair way. Spain took the three villages, and Portugal took an uninhabited strip of land. What the fuck are you doing? Quarter Mixto has been subject to a lot of academic discourse surrounding borders and territory. A lot of this understands Quarter Mixto through the idea of the territorial trap. John Agnew developed the idea. The conceptual error regarding states as fixed units of territorial sovereign space, unchanging through time, separating domestic from foreign political spaces, treating the territorial state as the container of society. But borders can exist outside of the state-defined physical boundaries. Borders are often sites underlined by ideas of identity and cultural expression. The border you cross as you drive from one country to another is vastly different to the space of unique identity that complex borders define. Although you could reasonably assume that the idea of the territorial trap described Quarter Mixto very well, we may never know the true nature of this border or the unique sense of identity held by its inhabitants. So, what is Quarter Mixto like in the present day? Well, I'm in New Zealand, and I'm not fucking going. I apologise to my many fans in Santiago, I won't be able to make the trip. Once its own sovereign state, Quarter Mixto exists through the Common Land Community Trusts. A happy ending, some would say. The only thing that has stopped Quarter Mixto fading into oblivion is the perseverance of the inhabitants to continue the legacy. However, in 2007, Quarter Mixto was recognised as a cultural and historical enclave by both Spanish and Galician parliaments. Questions were also asked in the European Parliament as to whether the EU could help the territory's economic revival to ensure that the unique experience of Quarter Mixto is not lost to time. The EU did nothing. Residents may no longer be able to have a gun. They now have to pay tax and are now Spanish. But the memory of this unique area remains. Here's three towns on Google Street View. Which one is Quarter Mixto? <laughs> you've got three seconds. Ready? Tell me if you got it right. And hey, if you're not, go down and click that subscribe button, mate. I, I appreciate the support. This channel isn't, isn't like any, any other channel. This channel is very much my baby. And I put a lot of effort into it. And it's nice to see that recognised sometimes in the comments. So subscribe if you're new. It'll be worth turning on notifications because, you know, I don't post crap. I only post the top tier. And yeah, I'll see you around. This is now in my sketch pad next to...